We don't know exactly what the Republicans are proposing. As I've said, it seemed easier, I guess, when they were in a minority than when they have the votes. Now they seem to be struggling <laughs> a little bit with it, which is only fair. It would be, be the same the other way around. But, but from your point of view, uh, are there things about Obamacare that you would want to fix even if it were just up to you? Well, sure. I think we've got to do something very significant to shore up the individual market. Now, one of the things that happened over the last few years is we had put in uh, the, to the law something called risk corridors, which was, to, which were designed to uh, kind of indemnify insurance companies if they got what's called adverse selection, so they got an abnormal uh, uh, pr proportion of of uh, sick people. Uh, the Republicans defunded that basically, so they took out the the part of the uh, the law that made the individual market workable. So we have to shore that up. One thing that I personally think would we could change is I think we could eliminate the employer mandate. Uh, it doesn't seem to be necessary. Companies overall have not been dropping their their insurance. They think it's necessary to provide for their employees, and it does have some some even though limited uh, Im impact on employees who are having their hours cut in some cases. So I think we could probably do away with that, and I think that would be uh, something we could get bipartisan agreement on. Now, as I understand it, particularly on the Senate, you need 60 votes to replace it with something. You can repeal it with, with less than 60, but you need the 60 votes. To the best of your knowledge, are Republicans reaching out at any level to sort of start talking to you all and talk about what could we do together? <laughs> Uh, no, we haven't had any conversations with, with Republicans. They've played it pretty close to the vest. Uh, you know, it's interesting because I was on the Ways and Means Committee back in 2009 and 10 when we were, we were one of the drafting committees in the House, and the Republicans basically refused to participate then. They didn't, wanna, they didn't even want to make suggestions as to, at least in the House, as to how the bill should be shaped. And I think that's one of the problems they're having now, since they didn't participate back in in the uh, drafting of, of the Affordable Care Act. They really don't know how complicated it is, and they don't they don't really have an understanding of how all the pieces fit together. That's why they're going to continue to have a very very difficult time coming up with a replacement. So, so Congressman, you also you sit on on the Budget Committee, terribly important right. committee. Uh, let me ask a similar question about tax reform. We had Governor McAuliffe of Virginia on earlier in the program. And we talked to him about whether there could be bipartisan support for some form of tax reform. And he said yes, that there should be room for that. The weather, way there was way back in the Reagan days. Do you see it the same way? Is there room for compromise on tax reform? You know, David, I think the biggest problem we're going to face in trying to do tax reform is, is the outside world, which, meaning the, the advocacy industries and uh, the lobbyists, and there will be uh, thousands and thousands of them working on tax reform legislation. They're going to make it very hard to compromise, and our, and our advocacy groups on both the left and right are going to make it hard. I think there's, left to our own devices, uh, put out in the middle of the woods and taking all of our <laughs> communications devices away from us, I think there's probably a lot of room for uh, agreement on some items. Well, there's a proposal right there about the woods with no <laughs> no, no, no phones. So, so let's talk specifically just for a moment about border adjustment tax, because you talk about advocacy groups, they're all over that one. Is that essential exactly. to tax reform in your view? Oh, I don't think it's essential to tax reform. I think what, uh, you know, the, the reason that surfaced is because the, the Republicans have sensed this kind of nationalistic agenda that's anti-trade and, and protectionistic, and that fits into the, that mm. agenda. So right. uh, I'm not sure it makes a lot of sense uh, economically, but it does, I think, make sense politically for Republicans right now.